Hi, I'm LJ. I'm a student here at Aveda Institute, Winnipeg. And I'm Emily, and this is our final project. I would describe our look in three words as traditional, powerful, and leadership. And that it's the look overall shows that it's okay to be powerful and it's okay to be what you want in this world. Well, the first thing we had to do, we had to dye her hair black in order because her hair was originally white and gray. Um, the next step that we had to do, we had to section it out and create our sunset braids. And after that, we went in with the curling iron hard set because we need those curls to really stay intact. We incorporated a lot of um, additional hair as well as her own, and we created the, the mohawk and then added the braid at the very end to show the tradition. So it kind of leads from modern to tradition, just like what the whole piece is supposed to speak. I've always been interested in beauty and hair is the top, hair is the head. So from head to toe, I've been wanting to do this and that's where we're, we're gonna start. Chose AIW because uh, I've said this before, I wanted the best of the best, and when I looked up the Winnipeg's Best Hair School, this was at the top of that list. TikTok. That's where I found a AIW. TikTok. Where do I see myself in five years in this industry? I really would like to be doing extensions. I really would like to be adding on to the hair that we already have instead of taking away. I think it's easy to make a hair cut and fit a shape. It's a lot harder to add on and to bring that expression to life. For me, I'm hoping that in five years from now, I'll be working behind the set on film and television. Yeah, so that's why I'm hoping that this is where I'll be in five years. If someone is interested in the hair industry, I would honestly suggest practicing more than you expect to. It's on clinic floor where you really learn to do the things that are asked every day in the salon. Uh, I mean, the books are great, the lectures are great, but it's not until you're hands-on that you actually develop the skill, the talent, to be able to pull off what is being asked of you. So practice makes perfect is something to live by. Honestly, it's just about make mistakes and then learn from them. You know, don't put too much pressure on yourself saying that you can't do this because you eventually you can do it. Uh, well, you can follow me on Instagram at Hall of Styles. I'll be posting more and more every day. <laughs> you can definitely find me on Instagram under Wolfie Cuts. It's still under development at the moment, but that's where I am. No problem. Thank you.